Hi and welcome to another Type with me. In today's video I want to talk about calculate differences between two JSON objects. So this week I need to find a method to calculate the differences between two JSON objects so that I can store it in an array and then have some kind of undo redo functionality. It needs to be very basic so for that I came across this library, the JSON diff patch library. And today I'm just going to show you how it works, what you can do with it, and hopefully you get something out of it, right? So let's go. So JSON diff patch has also a tool where you can play around a little bit with what it can do, right? So for example, if I change here uh, south into north, then you can see here that that difference is being recorded. I can very easily swap out this, for example. Uh, we can also uh, move this uh, to another place. So I can do this here, and then I can go underneath here, and then I can paste it right here and if you see then to the differences underneath here then yeah sometimes they can uh, show what the differences are like, like you you see here when something is just moved to another location well that's no real difference right so um good let us now play around with the code, right? So, let's go. So, if you look at the code, you see here that we want to get the method diff out of JSON, diff patch. Then we have two objects, and then, of course, we want to know the delta. And then we say console.log delta of that one. Right, so if I execute this, you see here that the delta is greetings happy and then h because we just changed uh, the, the, the property of greetings to h, right? So that's something that you can do then. So now if I want to patch something, so I do patch and I want to patch hello one, I can do a patch hello one comma delta and then hello one will become hello two. So if I do then console dot log hello one, and I then run this one right here, you will see that he is just printing out hello world and then greetings. H. Just gonna do hi because that's a greeting. Greeting, a new greeting put by or something like that. If I run this again, you'll see that it's high. So another thing that we can do is unpatch. Of course, we cannot unpatch the delta to hello one because that's a little bit strange, but we can go back right we can revert everything right so we, what we can do is now we can we can use hello2 so let me do hello2 you'll see here that hello1 is still uh, uh, goodbye there and if we then do console.log hello2 and let's save it you will see that we have two times goodbye Right, because we are just reverting it, we want to go back to our original state, right? So that is uh, that is that. Another thing that you can do here is const uh, reverse uh, delta. Let me do reverse of delta. Let me do console dot log of reverse delta I'm just gonna paste it right here if I save everything 
and then I'm going to run it. Reverse. We'll see here that um, he has reversed the delta right, right here. And of course, what we could do then is here to patch of the reverse uh, delta. And then import this one, just run it, and then you'll see that he does the same thing, right? So I hope you understand it a little bit. It's great to play it, to play around with it, of course, and to see how this can fit uh, your needs. Um, we are just now using the methods directly. If you just want to have um, a configuration uh, there with more functionality, then you can use the div patcher class. So this is also a great way to show you how to use skypack.dev. It's really amazing. You don't need to handle with your packages anymore. You just import something uh, from the web and you use it in your program. I think it's really awesome. Um, so if you know an alternative uh, for JSON div patch, please provide it into the comments uh, below. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you like this one and see you next time.